parents. We, we had a very close family, a, a large family. And we would go to our grandparents for Sunday lunch. And the painter in question was hanging on the wall at the dining room table looking at us the whole time we were having lunch. And we all knew that he was from Bruges. And we knew that he was a portrait painter. But no one knew anything more than that. Well, I was the right person in my family for the job, which I took on myself. It became a passion. And there is no other time in my life, I think, that I could have done it, partly because of the internet. But I, I did myself have some background in art history, um, a limited amount, and a background as an art teacher. So I just went after it. I came home and started investigating online and pretty quickly realized he was something. The artist, the uncle of both my great-great-grandmother and myself um, was at, ver at the very least a second-tier portrait artist in France and Belgium at a very exciting time for portraiture and politics because <laughs> Napoleon had just come into power. There was a rising audience for portraiture after the French Revolution in 1789 because there was a rising middle class and they very much wanted their own portraits painted. I wanted to understand this painter's world. I wanted to understand how he got to be a painter in Napoleon's court. Now, how did that happen? What produced him? What were his parents like? What was Bruges like? And then how and why did he go to Paris? I want to talk about the characters that he painted. His paintings were extraordinarily complementary. This is just one example. Um, you can tell because if you figure out the age of the people that he was painting, including his self-portrait, the one that I grew up around, uh, they were very complementary. <laughs> and there were desirable ways of painting a woman. For instance, the shoulders are often shaped more like mine, actually, not square, but yeah. triangular. Yeah. And the, sh the shade of the skin, the, the, the clothing that was, Paris has always been a center of fashion. Kinson had to be very aware of what was appropriate. There was it takes so much chutzpah, or whatever you want to call it, for a man to go from this small insular community, really, of Bruges, who though were intimately aware of and supportive of their artists and had had many famous artists living there, Jan van Eyck, Hans Memling, the list goes on. But to make that decision to leave home and go to Paris, it, it, it was a very exciting time. The painting of Adele on the cover of my book is of when she was about 13 years old in 1834. And it was shown in the Paris Salon. She is the one who immigrated to the United States. And she married a Belgian, a doctor, Joseph Henroten. And in 1848, they immigrated with three children to Chicago. I think everybody has at least a few of these stories that they would like to know more about. And I really want to encourage them because it's been a wonderful adventure.